All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go with the Citrate Transport System, also known as the Citrate Pyruvate Shuttle. I mentioned before in the Krebs cycle that we can actually make some other materials for our body to use. One of those being glutamate, which I covered in the last video. In this video, we're going to cover on lipid synthesis. So we can actually make lipids through this Krebs cycle or the Citrate Acid cycle. Why would you want to do that? Well, one reason is for energy, for energy storage, but the other main reason is for steroid hormones. Our body makes hormones, and one subdivision of hormones is steroids, and they're based off of lipids. So, to actually make those steroid hormones, we need lipids, and this is how we're going to get it. So, here we have the entire pathway here. You'll notice on the left-hand side is the mitochondrial matrix, and the right-hand side is the cytosol divided right in half by the lipid bilayer. Lipid synthesis can only happen in the cytosol, not in the mitochondria. So we need to basically transport it, this stuff, to the cytosol. Now you'll notice that this part right here is step one of the Krebs cycle because the Krebs cycle happens in the matrix. So this happens to be part of the Krebs cycle. So that's where we're going to begin. So we're going to begin with oxaloacetate. And we're going to combine it with acetyl-CoA with the enzyme citrate synthase. This will get us citrate. Now we need to go to the cytosol. So we're going to use a transporter here and basically, just basically, easily transport it over to the cytosol. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the enzyme ATP citrate lysate lice and shred off that acetyl CoA which will help in the lipid synthesis and we are left with oxaloacetate so we just basically reversed everything here like this is just reverse of this now we're left with oxaloacetate it cannot go directly to pyruvate that's not possible so we're going to use an enzyme called the malate dehydrogenase to get malate. Now, with the enzyme malic enzyme, it's literally called malic enzyme, we're gonna take off a CO2, so one carbon and two oxygens, and get pyruvate. Now, pyruvate is able to go through this channel right here. The reason, so malate is not able to cross here. There's no transport, there's no channel for malate. So that's why we have to get it to pyruvate first. Now, at pyruvate, it can cross the bilayer through a channel, and we can add CO2 and the enzyme pyru pyruvate carboxylase to get oxaloacetate where we began. Notice that from pyruvate, we add CO2, we are not getting malate. You would think so, because it looks like the reverse. It looks exactly the reverse. It's, you know, here we took out CO2, here we're adding CO2, and you had pyruvate here, pyruvate here. You would think that you would get malate here, but you don't. You get oxaloacetate because this is a different enzyme that's working. And that literally is it. That is the citrate transport system. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Until next time, later.